wear it or Ali Boom. What does that mean? I have no idea. It's the only one I could remember. <laughs> because I was I, I would just I'd have to learn them wrote. <laughs> you have to write them on boards for me. So I didn't really understand what I was saying. But that was Jake. Jake didn't really know the language in the first one. <laughs> With the recent release of, of Avatar The Way of Water, fans are eager to give their opinion on it and what people have to say about the sequel is pretty positive, giving it an overall score of 4.5 out of 5 stars from over 17,000 people. Hi, I'm Sam Worthington. <laughs> I'm Zoe Saldana. What was it like working with all the new actors? Good. <laughs> I can get through customs easier. Yeah. <laughs> The film was praised on its creativity and visuals and above all the performances put on by the actors to make it all happen. Aside from the brilliant mind of James Cameron putting it all together, we wanted to take a look at two of the actors, Zoe Saldana and Sam Worthington, and what they have been up to since the release of this film. So let's go ahead and jump into it. You have been in 22 different films <gasps> oh, uh, since the first Avatar. That's a lot. And you have been in 25 different films. Oh my god. <laughs> since so much. the first Jesus. Avatar. Jesus. So. Uh, a lot. Does a it lot. feel that way? <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I thought it was only like five. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, 21 of mine never came out. <laughs> <laughs> We first have this moment of these two being playful and obviously making fun of each other while comparing American and Australian snacks. Wow. That stuff's heaven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's heaven. It's heaven. Okay. It's heaven. Yeah. <laughs> two suddenly fall in love, living the famous line. I'm with you, my Jake. We are made for life. Mm. Oh, 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 but before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What was Zoe Saldana's first film role? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Arnold. Arnold, yes. He could play and the Hallelujah Mountain. There would be something about that. And that, Leo. That would be good. Bring, bring DiCaprio here. Yeah. Put him in a mocap suit. Let's 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 get on. Yeah. You know, Could it would we be do that? Right. it would be amazing. I, I imagine for us, obviously, I have it's a great really deal cool. of respect for the work that Sam does. Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana's working relationship began like a movie. We met at a hotel bar, recalls Worthington ahead of their Avatar screen test. I said to James Cameron, "Can I meet the person that I that you want to play, Natiri? Because I'd like to audition with them." I think that will help me get the part. So I meet Zoe, wooed her, and charmed her, and then found out a bit later that she had no idea what I was saying, he says. She couldn't understand my accent. It feels wonderful. It feels like it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Um, getting to work with your idol, getting Thank to... You. Oh, welcome! <laughs> oh, no, it's my idol. Um, and with them explaining their first meeting way back in 2006, you have to remember that the first film took 13 years to make but only a couple to shoot. So Zoe and Sam have a lot of history, and with this interview it's clear that the two probably had a lot of fun on set. I'm proud of the fact that Jim has lost bets. Um, of, of, of whether or not, thank you, of whether or not I can, I can hit a mark. So he'll like, you know, he'll be like, go hit that. And, and in my mind, I'm like, there's no way I can. I think he lost and, a and lot of I, money. He lost a lot of money you know, on betting against Zoe. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page, link down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Yeah. Just like archery and... You know, horseback riding without a saddle, you know, those sort of things. And ri riding a flying creature and all Absolutely. the things you had to learn for the first yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Sam? Because you said you found it particularly hard. Yeah, I can hold my water. breath. For, I did it for easily 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I can attest to that. I was there. I was there. <laughs> Zoe continues to make fun of how fast he is at responding to her messages. The older he gets, the quicker he is to reply. <laughs> Versus like back then it was like, you know, and I didn't hear from him for like a year. And then he would find my email somewhere and then go, hey, 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 how you doing? <laughs> how are you? On the flip side, you can see moments of them bonding over something they have in common. And they would be training side by side when they were gearing up to hold their breath underwater for extended periods of time. And they both joke about having kids and little patience when it came to learning this new ability. At this point also, 
so we're coming into it a little older, uh, a little crankier. Uh, we're also parents. <laughs> right. There's a lot that we have to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we manned up, yeah, we manned we up. We totally right? did, man. We yeah. can't feel yeah. that I put on my yeah. big girl pants. Sam Worthington got his big break from playing Jake Sully in Avatar and has also done some voice acting in video games such as Call of Duty. His next project after filming for the sequels of Avatar is Horizon, which is an upcoming American Western film directed and starring Kevin Costner. Jim is like a fine wine. He just gets better in time. You know what I mean? Like he just keeps getting better and better and better. And now that he's plant-based, oh my God, forget about it. Yeah, you got more energy than anybody. <laughs> more energy. Yeah. Girl, yes. No! <laughs> That I was like not in my head. See, going, she can talk for me. Anytime. Sometimes, sometimes. Taking me to church. That was it. She took me to church it. today. Hey, we're done. Interview <laughs> done. And there are so many moments of these two together, just goofing around, making fun of each other. Some even saying flirting. But in terms of their love life, Sam is currently married with three children of his own, and Zoe, she too has a spouse and three kids. But that doesn't stop them from joking around from time to time. That Sam, yeah. I took my time. I was you more were, like, I took, I took like some seconds. Like, Maybe Jim, think I'm this sorry, over. Are you really going to do again? that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You repeat that again <laughs> in <laughs> Spanish, Jim? <laughs> I was already under the water. <laughs> Ready when you are, Jim. <laughs> In promotion for the film, Zoe and Sam walk down memory lane to when they were looking at the storyboards for the original story versus where they are now. You know, 2015, we saw designs of it. 2017, it's like, well, how do we do these? How are we going to do this design? Uh, and then we started filming. So we, we've collectively been involved in it somehow. So. And eager to get back. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> they also stop and reflect on the emotion the story gives to others watching it and express that they hope others get some emotion out of it, as that's the point to any story, to get the audience to care and follow the journey of the characters of the story through its entirety. Do you guys know what the end of this story is? Like, do you do you know where it stops? Oh, you mean the saga? Yes. Of like, yeah. 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 Do you, so... <laughs> in another funny moment between these two, they do a cast on cast interview and waste no time in getting some laughs out. Hi, I'm Sam Worthington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Zoe Saldana, and we're gonna ask each other some important questions. Super important. So, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it all started. <laughs> Worthington explained that everything they did for the 2009 film was given was now given an extra layer of complexity by the fact much of the booty was shot in water tanks. Talked, I wooed her, charmed her, found out a bit later that she had no idea what I was saying. She couldn't understand my accent. But look at him, he's like, talked her, wooed her. First of all, he comes down, and I'm like, I'm the one that's like chatty Cathy, and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> the technology for us doesn't change, but the environment changed. Where we film, called The Volume, was now underwater, Sam says. But we knew that he was gonna lend itself to the authenticity of what we were doing. That's a new challenge, but that's what Jim is about. Jim isn't gonna make a movie if it's just the same story and the same tech. He's gonna keep pushing what the film can do and what tools he got. And I was talking and I thought I was being very charming and polite. And then I found out later that I had no that idea she... what he was saying. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, but he's talking in some foreign language. And I was like, no, I'm not Australian. I'm he's like, okay, what up? And he mumbled. No one can do a transition or a reel like you. <laughs> uh, thank you for saying what that. What is a reel? We're spelling. Oh, what is a reel? I think my answer is right here. <laughs> Zero to 10 on the tech savvy scale. Where are you, Sam? Trust me, uh, I'm, he's I'm not faking it. That's I'm a real still question. I'm AOL. <laughs> <laughs> He tells a story about what his nephew did to an action figure he had of him after he got grounded, which Zoe played along with. It's really surreal and kind of spooky <laughs> about about seeing, you know, checking people who buy doll. them and, and stick needles in them. And oh things like God, that. I you know, hope like the not. Old. He explains one incident where Jim gave Sam a script where it showed the time in between the first and second film to which was really good. And they share what was in that script that was only meant for the cast to read to get the backstory of what Jake has been up to. And I said, when do we shoot this one? Because this is amazing. He goes, no, no, that's just something backstory. I wrote over the past year to give you his backstory. And then I lend it to, to yeah, Zoe. It was amazing. And I think you lost it. But, um, no, I haven't. <laughs> you I, got I just, it? I just never returned yeah. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Zoe's first film role was in Center Stage in 2000, directed by Nicholas Eitner, about dancers at the fictitious American Ballet Academy in New York City. In terms of our next project, of course we will have to wait until we see her again in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. You this don't is, like that? This is tough. Yeah. I like the voice. It's you ask. If you did that. Oh! oh! <laughs> 
Oh, that's heaven. So what do you guys think about all this? Have you seen Avatar The Way of Water yet? And even though it's pretty far away, what are your expectations for the third and fourth installment? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.